and welcome. We're glad to have you along for 15 minutes. I'm Amy Bryan with the Greater Columbus Georgia Chamber of Commerce and I'm joined today by Alan Harkness, the director of the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. Alan, thank you so much for sharing 15 minutes with us today. Thank you, Amy. I'm really glad to be here. Fantastic. Look, I know that um, you guys don't have people there physically in your location, but you've got a lot going on. So I think we're just going to dive right in and let's talk about spring into reading. Tell me what's going on with the, the spring reading program. Okay. Well, uh, every year we have a summer reading program and because of the schools being closed and our buildings being closed, we've actually backed that up a little bit and we've started a spring into reading program, which will lead right into our summer reading program. Anybody who's interested, adults, teens, children, can sign up online from our website, cvlga.org, and sign up right away and start participating, whatever you can read. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then, you know, we, we've talked to, or you alluded to some e-materials that y'all have available, music, audiobooks, e-books. It, it sounds like a little bit of everything. Let's talk about that because I, I do understand that those are free. Um, and let's talk about how you can get access to those e-materials as well. So if you already have a library card, uh, you just go to our website and you can utilize uh, any of a number of e-resources that are available, magazines for free. My favorite is The Economist and Motor Trend. I read those both religiously all the time. Uh, uh, e-books from a number of platforms, audio books, which are also very popular, graphic novels, comics, and whatever the latest music is, Hoopla has it. So we've, we've got a number of options for people to choose from. Uh, and if you don't have a library card, if you go to our website and sign up for an e-card right away, you can start using those materials immediately. So we've had a big uptick, as you would imagine, of e-card signups within the last six to eight weeks. That's incredible. So you don't have to have a specific kind of device to access this stuff, like a, a Kindle per se or anything like that. You can basically access it from any electronic device that, that offers internet access, correct? Just about anything that's internet connected, um, Apple and Android products, Kindles, uh, we try to make sure that our uh, products work on as many different um, options as possible, including your home computer. It's awesome. That's so great. I love it. Um, let's talk about curbside service. You know, we've seen a lot of our restaurants offering curbside, but let's talk about the library offering curbside. I love it. So, uh, barring any major public health changes on, on May 18th, we're going to roll out curbside service at the main library on Macon Road. Uh, and then the next week, the day after Memorial Day, we'll roll that out at all of our other branches. We're going to give it a week of trying it out and seeing how we can make that process work best at the main library. Uh, at that point, you'll also be able to return materials if you've been holding on to stuff for a couple months. We'll have bins available for people to put their stuff in. We'll uh, post uh, phone numbers for people to call to let us know when they arrive. We'll check the material out to you, bring it out in a bag. Our staff will have on gloves and a mask and we'll pop it in your trunk. Uh, so it's contactless service. And unlike uh, anybody else who's providing curbside service, we actually want our stuff back. So how we handle those materials is gonna be a little bit trickier. We're gonna quarantine all the materials that are returned for at least four days per uh, guidelines. And then, um, then we'll start handling those, checking them in and make them available for other people. That's awesome. It sounds like y'all have got a, a good good plan in place and a good method. Y'all no, y'all also have the, the units that are placed around town too. I know there's one on Double Churches Road. Isn't there another one? There's two, right? Right. There are two 24-hour libraries, one in Midland behind McDonald's on Flat Rock and 80, and the other one there at Double Churches in Whiteville Road. Those are currently turned off. Uh, those require more staff uh, handling than other materials. And, and we, we had left them on for a little while right after everything started shutting down. But then the materials we would have to put, turn around and put them right back into circulation. And that's really not a good idea if you're trying not to be a transmission vector. So those will be one of the last uh, units to be turned back on. In fact, we may turn them on for holds first for people to pick up their stuff and then uh, do returns uh, later. That, that makes sense. They close during curbside. 
That, yeah, that totally makes sense. And then virtual programs. I know that y'all are getting innovative like the rest of us and offering some programming online. So let's talk about some of that that y'all got going on. And it's for, for your members and, and families and, and children and, and a little bit of everything. So we'd love to hear more about that. So there's programming for kids. There's lots of different story time options, especially for the little bitties and some activities. And we, we know everybody has a lot of screen time right now. So it's, it's harder for kids, but it, it's something else to do. There are crafts, there are STEAM programs, there's stuff for teens, and there's stuff for adults too. Um, it's, there's a lot of options out there available. We've had several thousand views within about a week and a half of um, our virtual programming being available. And our staff are working hard from home to put together a lot of those programs. That's incredible. That's great news. Um, we, we were talking before we started recording about um, public Wi-Fi and access to Wi-Fi. We know that, that some people rely on um, using public Wi-Fi. So y'all offer that, and, and I'm assuming your parking lot is open if, if somebody needs access to the Internet. If, if folks need access to the Internet and they want to use the Wi-Fi from one of our parking lots, they're welcome to do so. We ask people to remain socially distant just as they normally would. Um, after we have curbside service open for a while, we're, we're trying to figure out how to make public computing available again. Mm -hmm. When the economy goes bad, our public computing use goes up. Mm -hmm. And when the economy is good, our public computing use goes down. So we're, we know there's a lot of folks out there who want to work on their resumes, um, need, need to apply for jobs online, that sort of thing. And so we're, we're working frantically to figure out how to do that in a safe way that doesn't allow for transmission. So libraries everywhere are trying to figure that out right, right now. Yeah, that's great. Well, we, we certainly appreciate the accessibility. However, you know, our community can, can get it. Um, is there anything else that maybe we haven't touched on that you want to share with the community and you want people to know that's happening with the libraries? Um, you know, for some people, uh, genealogy is very interesting, uh, doing family history. And, and one of the folk, things that folks don't know is we actually have a library's only version of Ancestry.com that usually only works inside the building, but right now it's available from home. So if, if you're sitting around thinking of other things to do, uh, having access to genealogy research, looking at census and other materials with your family ancestors and be able to get that from home for free, it's pretty awesome. I really, I really like uh, for folks to know about that service. That's, that's incredible. I mean, sounds like a good lesson for these uh, parents to, to use with this at-home learning. Um, what better way to, to do something than to create a family tree? Um, very, very cool. We also have uh, the homework help. I know the school is winding down, but uh, people are always needing help with their math or their science or their English, and that's, that, those are, um, that's a resource that we have available for teachers that tutor online. Uh, that service is available uh, from 2 o'clock to 11 o'clock every day. Uh, and a lot of people have been using help for that, using that to help themselves. And there's also an online resume service where you can upload your resume for free and get feedback on your resume uh, from qualified folks. So there, there are other options available for people that have the access to the Internet and the device. That's great. So I know you guys have a very active Facebook page. I follow it. We, My family loves the libraries. We're sad that we're not – there in person um, utilizing it. But uh, Facebook's a great way to find out information that's going on with you guys. Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, I think, is the listing. Tell us the website again um, so, so folks know where to go to find more information. So it's C as in Charlie, V as in Victor, L as in Larry, cvlga.org. We have about half a million hits a year on our website. There's a lot going on. You can find out the latest information about our openings and closings and, and that sort of thing by going to our website and all of our online resources and placing books on hold. So it's, there's a lot going on there. We, we encourage you to use it. Yeah, we, uh, last week I think we hit 5,000 followers on Facebook, so we were, we were happy about that. That's awesome. That's great. Well, you know, we've seen a lot of businesses have to pivot during this time, and you guys are no exception. We're so proud of the work that you guys do and what you offer to this community. And, you know, even more so now and, and, and being able to be innovative and in providing um, opportunities for learning and, and enhancing um, for, for folks. So thank you, Alan. Thank you to your team. I know y'all are working super hard and we appreciate y'all. That's all the time we have for today. 
Um, Alan, again, thank you so much for joining us. And, and we hope that um, we'll see our viewers again for our next series in 15 minutes. Alan, be safe, and we hope to see you soon.